anything is possible. Where your expectation stop is where your manifestation stops. If there is anybody crying for more, this meeting is for you. I see a shift in the realm of the spirit. Something will break loose. Your long-awaited expectation will become your reality. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I beg you, don't pass me by tonight. I need a word for my change. If you are seated, rise and just worship him. I need a word for my change. I need a word for my change. I am not going to leave you unless you bless me. Unless you bless me. Unless you bless me. Unless you bless me. I put you in front. In front of my melody. You are all the matters. You are all the matters. I will make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all the matters. You are all the matters. Why should I live for if I don't have you in my life? What will I gain if you take the Holy Ghost? this atmosphere like you invaded the baritone of Joseph the Matia. Fulfill, I pray, the immortability of the counsel of your will. I thank you because in this service I will not be limited by any demonic force or satanic power. Thank you for the preaching of your word. Heal the sick. Liberate the oppressed. And let everyone be blessed tonight. In Jesus' precious name. And let God's people shout that amen loud and clear. You may be seated. Encountering the fixer. Encounter is the means and ways through which the fixer reveals and introduces himself to man. The fixer desire to be relevant. He desire to be known by his creatures. Man is the reason for such apparitions throughout the pages of scriptures because he wants to be known and he wants himself to be revealed to man. In fact, God has no name. Every name men gave him was a function of the encounter they had. The name they gave the fixer was a summary of the depths of the encounter that they had. He said to Moses, and that is the only name he gave himself. Every other name were name God gave him. Jehovah Shekeno, it was man. El Shaddai, it was man. Jehovah Jireh, it was name. The man. The only name he gave himself is I am. I am. When I manifest as 
provision. I am Jehovah Jireh. When I manifest in healing, I am Rafa. When I manifest in deliverance and in my mightiness, I am El Gibor. When I show up on the behalf of the widow, I am Lord Sapuat. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. So all the names of God are products of the encounters that men had with him. Sir, even the name Jesus is a revelation of the saving grace of our God. He says his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Can I talk to you, sir? You have not really known God in the identity that glorifies your mortality until and unless you have a definite encounter. Job chapter 42 and verse number 6 said, I have been hearing you by the hearings of the ears, but now my eyes see thee. Hey, somebody will move from this normal realm to the realm where he will meet him and his eyes will see him. I don't like that amen. I say you will see him. I don't like that amen. I say you will see him. Lift up your hands. Say, Lord, give me an encounter. Sorry, it's Job 42 verse 5. I have been hearing you by the hearings of the ears. But today, my eyes have seen you. Hear me, by encounter tonight, somebody will move from transition to manifestation. You move from process to product. You didn't hear what I said. You move from desire to reality. That thing they say you can't have. One encounter is sufficient tonight. The fixer will fix it. He will fix your womb. He will fix your marriage. He will fix your ministry. He will fix your finance. He will fix it. I say he will fix it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, I need some encounter. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I desire some encounter. Take your seat. What then is encounter before we talk about encountering the fixer? Number one, encounter is the demystification of celestial substance for human impartation. What did I say? It is the demystification of celestial substance for human what? Impartation. Hear me. When the invisible chooses to be visible, that is encounter. When the celestial chooses to be relatable, that is encounter. Come I talk to somebody here. When the immortal chooses to come down to your level. Hey, 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 hey. When divinity chooses to be accessible. That is encounter. Hey, tonight God will come down to your level. Something kaya shatter. You will represent the I am. You will represent Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, I mean, encounter is demystification. When God decides to demystify himself, when God decides to bring himself to a relatable form, accessible form, a form where you can touch him, feel him, and you can say like Peter, that which we have seen, our hand have handled, our eyes have hold. Can I prophesy to you? You will get to that realm now. You will get to that realm now. You will get to that realm now. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, I desire some encounters. I can't hear you shouting louder. Aha. One more time. Aha. For the last time. Take your seat. Encounter number two is the depths of divinity overwhelming the shallowness of mortality, guaranteeing access to revelation for desired manifestation. You didn't hear what I said. Encounter is the depths of divinity overshadowing the shallowness of humanity for the purpose of guaranteeing. Am I talking to somebody here? Guaranteeing manifestation to your intended expectations. Can I talk to you, sir? Man is too shallow to carry God. Elohim is as deep as eternity. Nobody can phantom it out. 
only the spirit of man because sir <laughs> man is as old as God can I talk to you sir Jesus God the father in this teaching Jesus God the father the Holy Ghost they are the same they only function in different capacity so that man can understand him when he wanted to create he became God when he wanted to die he became Jesus when he wanted to live in you he became Holy Spirit you hear what I said you didn't hear what I said when he wanted to create he became God when he wanted to die for you he became Jesus when he wanted to live inside you he became his Holy Spirit because only a spirit can multiply itself I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here who is Jesus Jesus is God trapped in time who is Jesus is God trapped in time can I talk to somebody here who is Jesus? Is God captured in dust? Am I talking to somebody here? Is God captured in dust? Can I talk to you, sir? So that he can save us, he became man. Juno man. Became God man. <laughs> Made the demand of justice. A claim for our redemption. And he declared it is finished. The fixer has finished the job. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. The fixer has finished the job. And can I talk to you, sir? He said, it is a speed and I go. I, because, because if I am Jesus, by reason of my functionality, I'll be in one place at a time. But if I must be everywhere at the same time, doing everything at the same time, I must become a spiritus. I must become what? A spiritus. So I will go. I will send you another paracletus. I will send you a comforter who will live in you, 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 in you. Jesus in Nigeria. Jesus in Ghana. Jesus in South Africa. Jesus in Brazil. Jesus in Mexico. Jesus in America. Jesus in London. All the Jesuses manifesting the immutability of God's cancer, establishing the purpose and the will of the Father here on earth. But can I shock you, sir? <laughs> God is too deep. You are too shallow to catch God. Only in encounter does God carry his depth and put on your shallowness so that you can be able to function in his capacity. Tonight, somebody is having an encounter. <laughs> Number four, encounter is an experience that occurs. When the government of heaven superimposes his will on his citizen here on earth. Encounter, I repeat, is an experience that occurs when the government of heaven superimposes his will or his glory on his citizen living here on earth. Can I talk to you, sir? When the government of heaven carries his glory and put it on his citizen here on earth, that is encounter because glory is the summary of all that divinity is in totality glory is the best of God given to man to handle the worst of the devil anytime God wants to give you his best he will give you his glory he said arise and shine for my light is come and my glory is risen upon you glory is God's best given to man to handle the darkness of this world am I talking to is God's answer glory is God's reply for the wickedness of Satan is God's reply for the darkness of this world anytime God decides that you will shine he will give you his glory glory is the civilization of heaven glory is the business of Christianity am I talking to somebody here you have no business on earth until your business is about glory for I reckon that the prophets of this present time shall not be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us we are born for glory we are meant to shine in glory because Christ in you the hope of glory in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily So encounter is 
is when the government an experience that occurs when the government of heaven superimposes his glory on the cities in living here on earth can I talk to you sir after tonight you will carry palpable glory feelable glory touchable glory because you are receiving an encounter can I hear you shall Lord give me some encounter I can't hear you aha Ah. Number five, encounter is the arrival of celestial entity in terrestrial space for the purpose of leaving a mark that cannot be erased for time and eternity. You didn't hear what I said. <laughs> encounter is the arrival of celestial entity in terrestrial space for the purpose of leaving a mark that cannot be erased for time and eternity. Anytime God wants to give you an encounter, He will show up. When heaven invade earth is encounter. What is encounter number six? Is the collusion of realms that necessitate uncommon outcome. Is a colliding of what? Of realms that necessitate uncommon outcome. When a realm enter another realm, that is encounter. Acts chapter 4, verse 31. When they had prayed, the place where they prayed shook. When another realm entered earth realm, the earth began to quake. Acts 16, Paul and Silas, when they began to pray and began to pray, the Bible says, suddenly, suddenly, another realm entered this physical realm and there was a mighty earthquake. The prison doors were open. Every man chains were loose. Can I prophesy? Another realm will invade your life. It will invade your business. It will invade your marriage. It will invade your career. It will invade your destiny. It will invade your ministry. I call the supernatural. I superimpose them on your natural incidences. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, I desire an encounter. Lord, I need the visitation of another realm on my life. You are not extraordinary until you encounter the extraordinary. Tonight, a realm will enter your spirit. A realm will invade your spirit. Somebody shout encounter. I can't hear you. One more time. Another one. Take your seat. Acts 2 1. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, when another realm entered here, there was a rushing mighty wind. It's a collusion of realms. When realms, two realms meet, there is a reaction. Close, clothing tongues of fire sat on them. They spoke in tongues as the spirit gave them utterance. It was like a mighty rushing wind. Hear me, sir. Any day you have an encounter, a realm will enter your realm. That's why some people are in the midst of their fast. Their room will be lighted with light. They will see a being called I am. The one that lives in light unapproachable. The one that lives in ageless aeons. You see, he begin to walk into your room. And everywhere will begin to shake. Because that is an encounter that is taking place. I pray for somebody. The you I saw that I came in. It's not the you that is returning. And the redeemer of the Lord shall return. After tonight you are returning. With palpable encounter. They will not know you after now. The fixer is working on you. You are a work in process. You are an unfinished work. By the time it's over. The process shall convert to product. Your transition shall become your manifestation. Somebody shall yes. Say Lord. I desire an encounter. Say Lord. I desire a shift. From this realm to another realm. Can I pray for you? Whether you like it or yes. Because you are in this service. Your destiny is already implicated. Your destiny is already implicated. Your life will be contagiously affected. Your life will be dangerously affected. Lift up your hands and say, Lord. I desire an encounter. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus name. Take your seat. And the Lord appeared unto Solomon in Gibeon. And the Lord appeared unto Abraham in the plains of memory. Show me men who stood out in their generation. Who fixed the need of their generation. 
who fixed the trauma of their generation, they met him. Moses said, who will I say sent me? I can't fix them until I know who sent me. Who will I say sent me? With a rod, he judged a nation. He brought them out of captivity of 430 years. Jesus is not only the fixer, but he has raised the little, little fixers like I and you. For your sake, your mother will not die of poverty. For your sake, your father will step into U.S. Amen. For your sake, for your sake, yes, Lord. your father will own a car. Amen. For your sake, Jesus. your father will have a name, to, a house to his name. Amen. Because of you, because of you, yes, Lord. you are the fixer. Jesus. You are the restorer Jesus. of the ancient bridges. Amen. You are the restorer yes, of the broken walls. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. be that deliverer, yes, be that savior, Jesus. be that lifter yes, of men Jesus. in your generation. Yes, Somebody say, Lord. Lord. I desire, I desire an encounter. An encounter. Say it louder. Lord, uh -huh. I desire uh -huh. an encounter. Can I pray for somebody here? Yes, sir. God is giving you encounters. Amen. God is giving you encounter. Amen. Can I, can I talk to you, sir? Yes, Take sir. your seat. It is encounter. It is in encounter that we host God in our spirit. Without encounter, no capacity to host the deity. Only in encounter. We develop capacity to host God. It is in encounter men become mobile shrine in their generation. Anywhere they go, they carry God. They deposit God in the souls of men. They deposit God anywhere they enter. When Paul enters a city, his generation exclaimed, The gods that come in the likeness of men have come unto us. Can I talk to you, sir? Even in the Old Testament, when the spirit comes and go, these men we are not ordinary. These men we are colossal and we are very dangerous. When Samuel entered Bethlehem, the Bible said the elders of the city tremble. They say, "Come as thou peaceably, because the arrival of Samuel is the arrival of a shrine. The fixer has arrived. You cannot be invoked in a shrine because you are a shrine yourself. You don't steal from a shirai. Anybody stealing from you is wasting his life. Am I talking to somebody here? Because by encounter we develop capacity to host the deity in our spirit. We become a mobile shirai carrying God. And can I shock you, sir? Nobody touches you and go free. Samuel was so powerful as a mobile shrine that evil in death he is not to be played with. In 1 Samuel chapter 28, verse 8, Saul went in the night to meet a witch of Indom. Put it for me. He said, he disguised himself. Saul disguised himself and put on a raiment and went to with his men. And they came to a woman by night and said, I pray thee, divine unto me by familiar spirit. And bring him up whom I shall name unto thee. Verse 11. He said, who is the person? He says, Samuel. I want you to see who Samuel is even in the Old Testament. Then said the woman, whom shall I bring up to thee? And he said, bring me up Samuel. Kayash. Kayash. See how Samuel appeared. Next verse. Next verse. The scripture said, and when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice. And the woman spoke to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For you are Saul. That is the first one. Number two, Saul said, Forget this one. Tell me, who did you see? Describe the person you see. Look at the next verse. Look at the next verse. The next verse said, And the king said unto her, Be not afraid. For what sawest thou? What did you see? And the woman said, I saw God ascending out of the earth. I saw spirit of just men. Ascending out of the earth. Yeah. When Samuel was departing, he departed as a mobile spirit. I saw God. Yeah. Nothing oracleizes your mortality like encounter. Nothing. Nothing. 
encounter turn illiterate to be crowd pullers and commanders of miracles they said so what shall we do for indeed a notable miracles have been wrought by this man and in Acts chapter 4 13 they said these are ignorant men but when they look a little closer they had been with Jesus they had been with Jesus when you meet the fixer you fix things go back to that scripture he said I see God's ascending out of the earth that is describing Samuel as a celestial entity Samuel metamorphosed from terrestrial to celestial from, in, from infinity to infinity from humanity to divinity his divinity came out <laughs> I see God's ascending out of the earth the next verse, verse 14 the next verse, look at it look at it and he said unto her what form is he of this God's ascending what is their form he said an old ah. he said an old man cometh up he is covered with a mantle is highly mantle covered mantle saturated when I step here I saw 86 mantle falling tonight men are going to carry mantles amen because in the last 30 years some of the fathers have departed but they have not they have not departed with their mantle Rehabokes mantle is crying Papa Sorilu mantle is crying T.L. Osborne's mantles are crying Yes. Am I Bessie Idahosa His mantles are crying yes, Fathers have exceeded this place uh, And their mantle is crying for expression yes, May man Samuel of our generation yes, Not go to heaven with their mantle Jesus. May they release it May they release it. 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 Somebody tonight shall be clothed. Yes, Lord. You shall be clothed. You shall be clothed with ancient mantles, prophetic mantle, apostolic mantle, financial apostolic mantle, deliverance apostolic mantle, mantle of monification. Mantle of monification. Yes, sir. You will live here monitated. Yes, sir. Monified. Yes, sir. Monitious. Yes, sir. And you will smell monious. Yes, sir. Mantles are falling. Mantles are hanging. They need to fall. Jesus. Yeah, he's an old man. Finish his assignment. But he's covered with mantle. Going back with his mantle. Going back with his mantle. Because the sons of Samuel were sons of Belia. They knew not the Lord. So the man returned with his mantle. The mantle given to him, he had to take it back. Ah, I pray for somebody. Jesus. The mantles of fathers. Yes, Lord. We fall upon you. Amen. Billy Graham. Rehad Bunker. Yes, sir. Papa Sorulu. Yes, sir. Joel Austin. Yes, sir. John Austin, I beg your pardon. Yes, sir. R.W. Shambach. Jesus. Look at these fathers. Yes, sir. They are departing, departing, departing. Yes, sir. Who are those that will fill the stadium? Jesus. Who are those that will empty the, the beer parlor? Empty it of sinners. Jesus. So that the kingdom of this world can become the kingdom of our God. Jesus. And of his Christ. Yes, sir. Pastors, enough of competition. Yes, sir. Enough of fighting one yes, another. Sir. We must complement one another. Jesus. The future is bigger yes, sir. than me and you. Yes, sir. The expectations of heaven Jesus. is not denomination. Yes, sir. It's that all men yes, sir. may be saved. Jesus. If your church is growing, yes, sir. you are an addition to the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. I will not jealous you yes, sir. because it is not your work. Yes, sir. It is not my work. Yes, sir. It is the work of him that calls it. Yes, sir. It is the caller. Jesus. Therefore, I declare yes, sir. if there are men with hunger, yes, sir. if there are men with unseatable yes, habit, sir. you will carry mantle tonight. Amen. There are unclaimed mantles. There are mantles that are looking for owners. 
because this generation is too busy for what does not matter but if God can find heart yes. let my soul never recover from this hunger for you Lord let his holy journey be my holy life spirit keep me hungry oh spirit keep me hungry oh let my soul never recover from this hunger for you Lord let his holy journey be my holy life give me the strings spirit keep me hungry oh. spirit keep me hungry oh. let my soul never recover from this hunger for you Lord let his holy journey be my holy life you reign you ancient Zion King, Kadosh Kado, you are mighty on the throne. You reign, you reign, you reign, you reign, Zion King, Kadosh Kado, you are mighty on the throne. perceived that it was Samuel for he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself when he saw Samuel ladies and gentlemen encounter is a platform that brings the power of God to us and brings the power of God to us and make that power a usable power for human stress and battles Tonight, somebody will encounter that power. Amen. Ah, encounter. Yes, Lord. It's where we maximize the divinity in our humanity. Nothing brings out divinity out of your humanity. Like encounter. Encounter, sir. It's what brings the hand of God upon the life of a man. Encounter determines the effectiveness of your life here on earth. Encounter gives you another appetite that is different from others. What men pursue is no more your object of pursuit. Encounter changes your appetite. You pray five hours, you are still warming up. When people pursue dressing, pursue clothes, pursue house, pursue car, it's not your object of pursuit. It is a counter that gives you an appetite that is not in this realm. Because, sir, the greatest blessing God can give to any man is not a car, it's not anointing, it's appetite, it's hunger. Hunger. The greatest blessing God can give any man on earth is not the anointing, it's hunger. Because with hunger, you can bring down a civilization. With hunger, you can be a change agent for a generation. Your hunger determines where God stops. You are as deep as the hunger of your soul. Only in encounter, he baptized us with lequacious appetite. Ferocious, large appetite. Sir, it is encounter, our appetite change from herbivorous to carnivorous. We become flesh eaters. I ask. I asked the Indonesia brethren when they saw Islam have eaten the land, they they developed an appetite and were crying for hunger for, for, for encounter. It was in the place of encounter God gave them an appetite. They began to cry, Lord, you either use us or waste us. If you can't use us, waste us. If you can't use us, waste us. These brethren turn. 50 million people back to God and make sure that Christianity find a landing ground in Indonesia. When the UK brethren left Azusa and came back after the Azusa revival to, to London, United Kingdom, they began to pray one prayer for five years. 
Lord, you either use us or kill us. You either use us or kill us. Where is your hunger? Where is your hunger? Sir, you have not met him until you show me your hunger. If you are still pursuing material things, pursuing a house, pastor, you are still fighting. How many members you have? You have not met him. Your heart shifts any day you meet him. There is a hunger that is unsatiable, that is unconquerable any day you meet him. What men pursue is no longer your object of pursuit. You begin to seek him in another realm. Prayer becomes food. It is scripture begins food. That's why I wrote 50 books in one year because my appetite changed. My heart shifted. I ate scripture ferociously. Books, revelations, lights began to come. From my books, we know some of them 300, 400 pages. They came out of the bowels of my spirit. I became like a loaded machine gun, ready to offload in my generation. At the root of emptiness in a believer is a lack of hunger for something more. Because any day you meet him, you will cry for more. Because God can never be exhausted. Every encounter takes you to another encounter. Every encounter takes you to another encounter. Because it is encounter he fixes you to fix your generation. If he has not taught you, you can't touch your wall. He touches you to touch your wall. Can I talk to you, sir? You have no ministry until you meet him. Ministry is the ability to travel into God and come back to carry people to where you have been. So if you have not been anywhere, who are you going to carry? Jesus. Ministry is traveling into God yes, sir. and coming back yes, sir. to carry people Jesus. to where you have been. Yes, sir. How can you show them a God you have not met? How can you tell them a Jesus you have not encountered? You must meet him. You must encounter him. You must encounter him. It is hunger that leads you to encounter. And when you encounter him, hunger changes to another level. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus, more of you. The more I know you, it's the more I want to know you, Jesus, more of you. Encounter. It takes you deeper into God. It kills your flesh. It kills your appetite, your cravings, your details. It causes you to be alive in him. For a carnally minded man is dead. A spiritually minded person is life. No man can please God in the flesh. To please God with your life, you must have an encounter. It is an encounter that makes you fix the need of your generation. Father Patrick of Ireland cried for a palpable encounters. He cried for more. He longed for more. He cried in fasting. And the Lord said, he said to the Lord, give me Ireland and I will enthrone Jesus. And because of that, he had an encounter. The encounter was so visible that he went to the monarch of Ireland and said, if there is any dead person, sick person, is there anything that if God does it, you will know that there is a God? Because the monarch said he doesn't know God and he, there is no God. He said to him, is there anything that you know that if God does fix it, you will know that it's God? He said, my daughter just died. If your God can bring that girl back to life, I will know that it's God. The man laid hands on the girl that was dead for more than 40 days. She jacked back to life. The king monarch said, I am not satisfied. I need more. Patrick looked at him and said, King, follow me to the mountain. I'm going to command all the reptiles in Ireland to appear on this mountain. Hey, the king said, okay. He lifted up his hand. He said, Father, every reptile on this land called Island, from Dublin to everywhere, I need them on this mountain. I command them to appear. 
Ross, come and see the pythons, the anacondas, the cobras, the black and green snakes started coming to the mountain in their millions, crushing to the mountain. When they got to the foot of the mountain, they started climbing. The king jumped on the back of. He said, no, they can't harm you. He commanded them to stop. They stopped there. He commanded them to appear around the mountain. All of them appeared. He commanded them to enter the sea that was close. All of them perished. Till today, there is no snake in Ireland. Because a man entered the regime of Ireland. That was how he busted the revival and fixed the corruption and the wickedness that permeated that nation. My friend, if you have, no, if you have not met him and he has not fixed you, you can't fix your generation. How can you explain what you have not met? How can you represent somebody you don't know? Who will I say sent me? You've talked too much about him. God is not to be explained. God is to be manifested. God is to be demonstrated. Am I talking to somebody here? God is not herbivorous. He's carnivorous. He eats at another level. And your appetite must be large. I pray for somebody here. Jesus. May you receive that dimension of Amen. Heaven. May your heart cry for more. Amen. May your spirit long for more. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That level you are may be the last level you are. Amen. Because you are shifting in realms. Yes, sir. You are shifting in revelation. Yes, sir. You are shifting in demonstration. Yes, sir. You are shifting in power. Yes, sir. You are shifting in anointing. Yes, sir. You are shifting in grace. Yes, sir. You are shifting in momentum. Yes, sir. Levels are changing. Yes, sir. Those that saw you before you Jesus. came here will not understand you after Amen. tonight. For the Bible said, for Moses wished not yes, sir. that his face has changed. For the glory of the Lord came upon his face. Jesus. As you tabernacle on this mountain. Yes, Lord. A glory will come on you. Amen. It will affect your clothes. Amen. Your shoes. Amen. Your hair. Amen. Your destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I've been preaching for 35 years now. I'm looking young and fresh. It's the presence is the presence. I'm talking about relevant altars. In the altar, the sixth state of Nigeria, I've been to over 14 nations preaching a relevant altar, tirelessly declaring, no resting moment, but still looking fresh because encounter give you an unbeholdable glory, a slain capacity glory, a glory that makes you fresh and young rise. You carry an aura that subdue resistance. You are living here with that capacity. Amen. You are living here with that capacity. Amen. You are living here with that capacity. Amen. I have been preaching for years, but I can never lay my back on the hospital beds. Can never be sick. Even if all the witches leave your village and attack me, they can't make me sick. Because encounter affected my body metabolism. My flesh is conformed. Kayash. 20 years ago, poverty lost my address. Even if all the poor people leave your village and come to me, they can't make me poor. Because I know how to maneuver wealth by the frequency of the spirit. I dwell in a realm that cannot be resisted. I prophesy. Professor. Such as I have, I give. Yes, sir. Enter that realm tonight. Amen. Enter that realm tonight. Amen. Enter that realm tonight. Amen. Job said, I have been hearing you with the hearing of the ears. But tonight, my eyes see a thing. There are different dimensions of encounter. When God wants to give you an encounter, he comes through seven ways. We look at one of the ways he brings encounter to you. Apart from encounter by the word, apart from encounter by the Holy Spirit. Are you following what I'm saying? There's an encounter called encounter by the prophetic. That's where I'm going to settle tonight and build momentum. Then tomorrow we shall deal with encounter by the spirit. Because sir, the spirit realm is your habitat. That is, you are 99% a spirit, 1% flesh. In the height of your spirituality, you are the most dangerous man on earth. Taught you by mistake, die by correction. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Everything about you is captured in the spirit realm. That is your habitat. 
the acrobatic display of a monkey is not a miracle. It is his nature. He has a monkeyous nature. Because that is, he can hold a branch and do lilo. Because he has capacity to maneuver in branches. Because that is his nature. The massive poop of an elephant is not a prayer request. Hear me? Any elephant whose poop cannot be as massive as a live goat is not an elephant. His nature is gargantuan. So his poop must be Gibraltar. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Yes, sir. When you drink alcohol long enough and sustain it, you smell alcohol. When you drink God long enough, you smell God there. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. You lose out God. Yes, sir. You eliminate God. Yes, sir. If you pollute God, we come out. Yes, sir. A smoker smoke long enough. Even his lips will have a testimony. We have an evidence that he is a graduate in the school of smoking. His hands also are evidence that he has a calculated connection with smoking capacity. How can you be drinking God for 10 years? And men look at you and they are mocking you. It is an error that must be corrected. Yes, sir. How can you carry Jesus? Jesus. And they are pressing you in the night. Yes, sir. From which village? Where did they come from? Yes, sir. The spirit realm is your habit. Yes, sir. Let's leave that one for tomorrow. I'm coming. I'm coming. We leave that one for tomorrow. I'm coming. Listen to me. Hear me and hear me well. Men are God's medium of encounter. Men are God's medium of encounter. See how here and hear me well. The best of God at work for man is communicated by man. The best of God at work for man is communicated by man. If you don't know man, you don't know God. Any day God will encounter you and shift you, there will be an appearance of a human messenger. Your encounter come through human vessels. If you miss them, you miss God. <laughs> Any day you encounter God, He will show you a person. When Ayo Depo said, Bishop Ayo Depo, I am tired of little members. Lord, give me members in thousand. I need an encounter for growth. God says, see at Bishop Idahosa. Any time God wants to give you an encounter, he will show you a person whose your vision is his reality. Your expectation is his manifestation. Kayash, your prayer request is his answer. It's already inside. identity that glorify your mortality because you are lacking an encounter can I talk to you sir God's relevance to man is embodied by man God's relevance to man is carried out by man God's relevance to man is embodied by man <laughs> Exodus chapter 6 verse 3 the most comprehensible Manifestation and describable expression of divinity is in the appearance of men. For I appear unto Abraham and, and unto Isaac and unto Jacob by the name God Almighty, but by my name Jehovah, I have not made myself known. Can I talk to you, sir? God reveals himself in men. God will never reveal to you what he has revealed to another person close to you. If you must know what he wants to reveal to you, you must go and understudy that person. Because revelation is exclusive and revelations are attached to personalities. If God gives somebody the mantle of prosperity, 
he will send you if you want to prosper. If he gives you the mantle of healing, he will send you to understudy the man with that mantle. God will never repeat himself. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Sir, the most manifestive and describable expression of divinity is in the appearance of men. Because if God comes as fire, you may not describe him well. If he comes as water, he may not be described. If he comes as horse, he may not be described. But when he comes as Joshua Talena, he can be understood. He can be described. He can be phantom out. He said the other day, I heard divinity crying. Who shall I send? Who shall go for us? It is, it is the cry of the celestial. Divinity is crying. Who shall I send? Who shall go for us? I, God, wants to go. We, divinity, wants to go. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit want to go. But if we must go, we must go through man. Who shall I send? Who shall go for us? We want to go. But if we must go, man must go. This man that shows up. You didn't hear that one. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that one. Any time God goes forth, it is man that shows up. You underrate man, you forfeit God. Because there are treasures in 18 vessels that the excellency of the glory may be of God. Tonight I carry God. I came with your encounter. Yes, sir. Your next level. Yes, sir. Is in my mouth. Hey, yeah. Your next season. Yes, sir. Is in my mouth. Yes, sir. Your next anointing. Yes, sir. Your next prosperity. Yes, sir. Your husband. Yes, sir. Is in my mouth. Yes, sir. If you believe. Yes, sir. Carry your testimony. Carry your testimony. Yes, sir. Carry your miracle. Yes, sir. Carry your glory. Yes, sir. Carry the fire. Yes, sir. Carry the presence. Yes, sir. Carry the mantle. Yes, sir. Carry the anointing. Yes, sir. I say carry. Yes, sir. Yeah. I say carry. Yes, sir. Jesus. Somebody shout, I carry. I carry. Anytime God goes forth, it is man that shows up. Yes, when you underrate man, Jesus, you have not known God. Yes, sir. I have heard the cry of my people, Jesus, which are in the land of Egypt. Yes, sir. And I am come down. Yes, sir. When God eventually came down, yes, sir. It was Moses we saw. Yes, sir. If you despise Moses, yes, sir. You have stopped your deliverance. Yes, sir. Moses Jesus. is the encounter that Israel needed yes, sir. if they must come out of Egypt. Yes, sir. Moses yes, sir. is the encounter yes, sir. that Israel needed yes, sir. if they must come out of Egypt. Yes, sir. Can I talk to you, sir? Yes, sir. Peter Jesus. was the encounter yes, sir. the house of Colenos yes, sir. needed yes, sir. if they must be filled yes, sir. with the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. If they must be born again, yes, sir. there must be a man yes, sir. Look, as powerful as divinity. Yes, sir. He can't find expression yes, sir. until a man shows up. Yes, sir. Tonight you are going back. Yes, sir. You will reveal Amen. yourself to your generation yes, sir. for all creation. Jesus. Your father, your mother, yes, sir. your brothers, your sister. Yes, sir. Your nations yes, are waiting yes, for the manifestation yes, of the sons of God. Yes, Tonight, I prophesy, prophesy. You shall be revealed. Amen. 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 Lift your legs up fire. Fire. Take your seat. God wants to go. 
but I'm looking for man to go through. He said, I sought for a man who will stand in the gap. I sought for a man. Between me and man is man. I sought for a man. Between me, I, God, and your blessing is man. Yes, sir. Between me and your next level is man. Yes, sir. I sought for a man. Come here, sir. Stand here. This is you. This is God. I he said, I sought for a man to stand in the gap so that I can reach man. For me to reach man, I must reach him through a man. I am looking for a man who will stand in the gap between me and that man. If I want to give him money, I need a man. If I want to give him husband, I need a man. If I want to give him salvation, I need a man. If I want to give him deliverance, I need a man. Yes, sir. sir, if you underrate your encounter, you have squandered a generation. You have wasted a generation. This generation cannot be delivered Jesus. until there are men yes, sir. who will stand in the place of encounter yes, sir. and say, Lord, yes, sir. you either use me yes, sir. or kill me. Yes, sir. You either raise me yes, sir. or waste me. Yes, sir. Can I talk to somebody here? Professor. Men yes, sir. who are tired of the status quo, they are ready to shift yes, sir. in dimensions yes, sir. and in realms. Yes, sir. There are mantles for financial relief. They are falling tonight. Yes. Yes, sir. Millionaires. Yes, sir. In dollars. Yes, sir. In pounds. Yes, sir. Are rising tonight. Yes, sir. Somebody shall fire. 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 Nigeria is one of the greatest nations of the gospel. We have overtaken America. America is coming to study us both in word, in science, parity. In Nigeria, there are churches that can foot a budget of a nation, nation like Ghana. There are churches. The 20 most biggest churches in the world are here in Nigeria. The next move of God is in Ghana. Yes, sir! Yeah! More than 20 men of God flying aircraft. Some are in their fourth plane, fifth plane, fifth plane, third planes, taking the gospel in the night and in the day at midnight, killing witches as they fly. The prosperity is heavy, but we first of all abandon ourselves. We love not our life even unto death. We gave like idiots, we gave like stupid men because our treasure is in heaven. When we began to prosper, <laughs> The government is helpless about us. We are too powerful for them. They can't stop us. That is why where there is much grace, there is much iniquity. Yes, sir. There's a wickedness is on the increase in that nation. But can I talk to you, Ghana? Yes, sir. Are you aware that your economy is the second best economy in Africa? You didn't know. But there is scarcity. Because the men that we command the wealth are in the church. But they are not available vessels. They are too selfish to rise. But tonight there are 72 ideas. Jesus! 72 ideas. Yes, sir. That will fall on the heart of men. Yes, sir. You are living here. Yes, sir. To become a multi-millionaire. Yes, sir. In pounds and in dollars. Yes, sir. You will take the cost. Yes, sir. And sponsor your body. Yes, sir. On wings. Yes, sir. To the nations of the earth. Yes, sir. For the earth is the law. Yes, sir. And the fullness there. Yes, sir. The war. Yes, sir. And they that dwell. Yes, sir. You are not ordinary. Yes, sir. You are not ordinary. Yes, sir. Nobody has written yes, your sir. You will be the first. Amen. Nobody has been written yes, your Yes, sir. You will be the first. Amen. Nobody has made it. Yes, sir. In your family. Yes, sir. You will be the first. Amen. Nobody has risen. Yes, sir. In your family. Yes, sir. You will be the first. Amen. This generation yes, sir. is in groaning. Yes, sir. Is in travail. Yes, sir. Until now. Yes, sir. They are waiting for you. Yes, sir. I came to release. Yes, sir. I came to release. Yes, sir. The unknown generation. Yes, sir. The unknown generation. Yes, sir. The unknown mafia. Yes, sir. The unknown giant. Yes, sir. The giants. Yes, sir. That the world has not known. Yes, sir. This 
program. Yes, they shall be revealed. 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 Yes, somebody shall fire. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Take your seat. Anytime you seek God, He appears in man for your encounter to be manifested. Anytime you seek God, it is man that will appear. Sir, the seeking of God equals to the encountering of man. Seeking of God. <laughs> it is men that house God. If you are looking for God, look for man. Because the seeking of God brings about the encountering of man. It is men that host God. It is men that house God. Can I, hear, can I talk to you, sir? Yes, sir? The fulfillment of prophecy that you are carrying, the manifestation of promises, without an encounter with man, will never come to pass. No matter how weighty your prophecy is, no matter how good the promises of God for your life is, it is a waste and appear. He slapped Saul on the donkey, took his eyes and put it in the hand of Ananias. He said, go and give him sight. Sir, as powerful as God was, Paul need an Ananias for him to carry his two eyes. He need an Ananias to tell him verbatim what he must suffer for the kingdom of God. As powerful as God was, as authentic as the encounter of Saul was yet he need an Ananias if Ananias doubted the authenticity of Paul's call he said Lord I've had many bad things about this man God said who asked you go and anoint him for he's a servant for me pour the oil sir no man is an island every encounter you need is hosted by a man the day you find that man your destiny will come to pass there's no prophecy that will come to pass without an encountering of a man. He said, I will take them to the land. It was Moses that appeared to take them to the land that flowed with and him. Whatever God told you is either a promise or it is a prophecy. But hear me, for it to come to pass, there must be the appearance of a man. See, hear me, sir. If God gives you a prophecy without man, it is an internal word without a season. If God gives you a promise or a prophecy without the appearance of a man, it remains an internal word without a season. That means you can die without realizing it. Because your words are in eternity. For God to step them down into time and give your word flesh and make it a physical reality, a man must appear. Many of you, the reason why you are carrying prophecy for 30 years. It's because you have not seek encounter through a man. You com you commonize your pastor. And that is why you'll be in church for years. Check. All those who talk anyhow about their man of God. They have, no, they have no story to tell. They have no story to tell about encounters. Because they will secure and secure leprosy. And, uh, and they will secure bad luck, catastrophe, and cataclysms of life. The reason is simple. Because, sir, man carries your next level. Don't joke with the people. This man of God selected two of us. We are not normal. I, am, I didn't come to see your face. I came to shift you. So that the face of your life can change. Yes, Lord. Anything I tell you, Jesus, do it. That is where your encounter lies. Now hear me. Let me shock you, sir. Let me shock you. Take your seat. Hear this. In your pursuit to encounter a man, you must know this fact that every man that carries your encounter has his humanity and his divinity. Any day you are looking for the man carrying your encounter, take your eyes from his humanity and look at his divinity. The day you put your eyes on his humanity, you will remain on one spot till you die. Ghana nation that does not respect prophets. When I hear they talk on their radio, 
he said generations who are going to be fatherless whom vultures will block their eyes the way they talk about oil without regard without sense if the persecutions we see in Nigeria most of your pastors sees them you will abandon them you will abandon them there are those that no matter what you do will follow them whether you like it or yes because they carry what we are looking for hear me sir the Bible says, and the sons of Samuel were Belial. Yet, David never looked at the humanity of Samuel. He never looked at the humanity of Samuel. David regarded Samuel as a Petrarch. See the description of his celestial stature. We saw that he was a God ascending, clothed in mantles. Yet, the shortcoming of his children could not stop him from raising kings and prophets. First Kings chapter 13 verse 14 the Bible says, and Elisha was sick unto the sickness wherein he died the man raised dead people cleansed leper did miracle yet the prophet feel sick the Bible said Joash came to see him Joash did not say so prophet is sick man of God even you too now so you look like that no 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 he shouted my father my father he invoked his divinity he said, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel. By, by connecting to the divinity of Elisha, the futuristic battle of the king was settled in the bedroom of the prophet. Long before the fight began, victory was handed over to him in the bedroom of the prophet. We came to settle your tomorrow here. Yes, Lord. I came to settle your next yes, 10 years. Yes, your next 20 years. Yes, sir. Your next 30 years. Yes, sir. I came to settle it. Yes, sir. I hand over victory. Yes, sir. You are not fighting for victory. Yes, sir. You are fighting from victory. Yes, sir. You have been declared the winner. Yes, sir. Before the fight began. Yes, sir. Surely, surely. Yes, sir. You will be rich. Yes, sir. You will marry. You. Yes, sir. you will carry your children. Yes, sir. You will travel yes, sir. around the world. Yes, sir. You'll be monetized. Yes, You'll be monetized. Yes, you will rise. Yes, You'll be better. Your father, than your mother, this land, we hear your voice. This generation, we hear your voice. Somebody say yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sorry. First Samuel 14, 13. Futuristic battle of the prophet. 14 was settled in the bedroom of the prophet. If you describe your father's nakedness, you have killed your future. <laughs> Noah, son, described his father's nakedness. Father did not cause his present. He caused his future. Every spiritual father represents your future. If your future will rupture, play with the man carrying your future. God did not need your permission to anoint this man. Whether you like his face or not, it's your cup of tea. When your parents send you to school, they didn't send you to fall in love with mathematics teacher. It makes you to fall in love with mathematics. Whether the mathematics teacher brushes his mouth or not, the four equations, almighty formula, is in his mouth. Whether he dress well or he look loquacious or robotized, it's not your business. Your parents didn't pay school fees for you to go and fall in love with mathematics teacher. Go and fall in love with mathematics. Your pastor is not the reason why you are not rising. You are, he is here so that you can fall in love with him. The I am. The fixer looking up to him the author the finisher of your faith your pastor is not your finisher let me tell you hebrews said chapter 6 said there's no priest taken among men that is without infirmity i mean every priest raised by god has infirmity had shortcoming. 
your assignment in this church is to look at the divinity of your man of God. If you disrespect his divinity, you'll be granted for life. It doesn't matter how sure you are about your prophecy. Hear me, sir. Anything God told you, whether it is promise, whether it is prophecy, it remains an internal word without a season. It is when you meet your prophet that they give season to your expectation and give time tack to your prophecy. That's why Elijah will say, uh, Elijah will say, by this time next year, according to the time of life, you shall embrace your child. Season was given for prophetic word to come to pass. Until three men shows up in the life of Abraham, his promise never came to pass. Prophetic encounters are the expression of divinity and mortality. But anytime you encounter God, God will come out of man. Anytime you want to encounter God, God will always come out of man. Paul met Jesus, but he said, see Ananias. With all of the speech impediment of Moses and his temperament, yet it was an encounter that Israel need if they must leave Egypt. The encounter of the prophetic sir gives direction, gives description and revelation to every encounters you have. They are the pivoter and the platforms that gives direction, that give prescriptions to all the encounters of your life. Sir, whatever you read in scripture, without the prophetic, it remains a mystery. If it's a lie, ask Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch, understandest thou what thou readest? He said, how can I? Or did there be some man to unveil unto me? Sir, when God told you he will bless you. Without a man, sir, your blessing remains coded. Only prophet decode. Many of you, you are a classified document. You need a man to declassify you. You are a puzzle. You are an enigma. For you to be a revelation to your generation, you must be demystified through an encounter. Sir, the mistake of the accuser of the woman caught in adultery was that they drag her to the prophetic encounter of Jesus and that shift her from an accuser to a blessed woman. Where there is encounter, men shift and change 180 degree radius. The day you meet your prophet, something shift. Many of you this night, 10 years from now, you will remember this night. Five years from now, yes, you will remember this night. Amen. You will dress your millionaire yes, status. Your millionaire status. Yes, sir. You will dress it to this night. Yes, sir. You will dress your mantle yes, sir. to this night. Yes, sir. This is the night. Yes, sir. It's a defining night. Yes, sir. My eye opened. Yes, sir. I saw 72 multi millionaires. Yes, sir. I don't know who you are. Yes, sir. The levels are changing. Amen. They should look at you for the last time. Yes, sir. Because the you they are seeing. Yes, sir. It's not the you that is coming yes, tomorrow. Sir. You are changing in dimension. Amen. By the encounters of God. Amen. May God give you Amen. what energy can give you. Amen. May you drive cars. Amen. You did not buy. Amen. Live in houses. Yes, sir. You did not build. Yes, sir. Eat fruit from trees. Yes, sir. You did not plant. Yes, sir. By encounter. Yes, sir. Let that single lady yes, sir. move to a married woman. Yes, sir. Let that barren woman yes, sir. become a rejoicing mother of yes, Let that loner prophet, yes, that loner man of God, yes, become a voice, yes, a territorial commander yes, in his generation. Yes, Whatever you want to be, yes, whoever you are, yes, whatever you want to accomplish, yes, I came with the anointing. Yes, I came with your next level. Yes, I came with your next season. Yes, I came with your next glory. Yes, Carry your manifestation. Yes, Carry your manifestation. Yes, Carry your manifestation. Yes, Carry your manifestation. Yes, Carry your result. Yes, Carry your testimony. Yes, if you don't rise, Jesus, I will throw my Bible. Yes, sir. This guy is going to be a major pillar. Calabas. Lift up your hands. Oh my God. Look at angels all over. What is this? What is this? Look at angels. Stand up. Stand up. Wave your hands. Wave your hands. Stand up everywhere. Angels are all over. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Holy Ghost. Pray in the 
spirit. Look at it. All over this place. 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 In Jesus, lift up your hands. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. I will not let you go tonight. I will not let you go tonight until I encounter you. I need an encounter. Another level encounter. Ancient mantle. Follow me now. Cry to the Lord. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hand, 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 clap Angel. Yes, sir. He took the oil on my head. Yes, sir. And put it on 23 people. Yes, sir. It's a mantle. Yes, sir. Their body will start shaking. Yes, sir. It's a mantle. Yes, sir. At the count of five. Yes, sir. It's coming on them. Yes, sir. One. Yes, sir. Two. Yes, sir. One. Yes, sir. Two. Yes, sir. One. Yes, sir. Two. Yes, sir. Anybody that brings somebody will take the mantle from me. Yes, sir. Lift up your hands. 
limiters. Because of time, lift your hands wherever you are. Lift up your hands. Bring me that lady. The power of God is on her. It's happening. Yes, Lord. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Lift up your hands. Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Fix their lives. Yes, Lord. Fix their marriage. Yes, Lord. Fix their relationship. Yes, Lord. Let them encounter the fixer. Jesus. Take them to new levels. Yes, Lord. New accomplishment. Yes, Lord. New attainment. Yes, Lord. New fulfillment. Jesus. Close your eyes. Be quiet. As I drop this microphone, you told me to put water in the mouth of 72 people and ask them, ask you to give them an encounter. 